Welcome back. Uh, this week's video is just going to be a quick little guide on installing TF2 Classic uh, on Linux. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is come into Steam. Uh, we just have a few settings we want to make sure are turned on. Uh, just one actually. So we're going to come in here into settings. We're going to find the compatibility. There it is. We want to make sure that this setting here is enabled. Enable Steam Play for all other titles. Uh, this is going to be important later. Uh, since TF2 Classic doesn't ship a Linux uh, binary anymore, we're going to be playing this game using uh, Valve's Proton. So the next step, we're going to be coming into our library uh, and making sure that we download the Source SDK Multiplayer 2013 uh, package. So let's just go ahead and search for that source SDK base 2013. We want to make sure we grab the multiplayer one, not single player, and we're just going to install that. Uh, so I'll be right back once this is done. So I'm back. Uh, our download is finished. Next we're going to want to come to the TF2 Classic website, tf2classic.com slash download, where they have an excellent uh, text tutorial. Uh, if uh, you have any trouble following mine, theirs is great. I know some people just prefer a video format. So the next step for us is going to be coming and grabbing the downloader. They have it available for Windows, Linux, and also they have a zip archive for manual installation. But for us today, as always, we are on the Linux desktop. So we're going to be downloading this. I have a TF2 Classic folder already prepared in my home directory. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we can come here and check it out. Uh, so if we can come here, right click it, properties, and just ensure that uh, this permission here is exable is turned on. Uh, and then uh, we're going to hop over into the terminal and uh, run it. So here we are in our trusty Linux terminal. We're just going to go ahead and uh, navigate to where we saved the TF2C uh, downloader script from before. Uh, so for me, that is the TF2 Classic folder I created in my home directory. So let's just uh, head on over there. And then uh, we're going to run this first command. If you miss the step before uh, making an executable or your file manager doesn't support that, uh, doing that through a GUI interface, we're, we're just going to run this command to make sure. So we're going to start off with ch mod plus x, and then our tf2 downloader Linux file. And so that what that command is going to do, it's going to make the, it's going to give us the ability to execute the script. So next, uh, all that's left to do is just dot slash, and then our tf2 downloader Linux file. So all this does is it uh, tells the system to run the script. So let's get started. So it uh, checked the version of the downloader, made sure it was up to date. Source, it found our source mods folder because we downloaded the source SDK uh, package before in Steam, and we're just going to let it. We're just going to go ahead and tell it yes. Uh, this is our first time installing, so we're going to go ahead and choose option one. going to start the download. Uh, it does give us this nice little warning uh, just here telling us that we may see some errors and that those are safe to ignore. So uh, I'm going to get back to you guys once the script has finished. So we're back. The script finished. Uh, it took a, maybe a minute or two. Uh, you can see right here the installation has successfully completed. Remember to restart Steam. Uh, so that's great. But before we restart Steam, for us on Linux, we have just one more little uh, thing to do. So we're going to come back into Steam, 
and we're going to right click on our Source SDK base 2013 multiplayer game come to properties compatibility and then enable this here force the use of a specific steam play compatibility tool so what this is going to do is because they don't they no longer ship a native linux binary this is going to allow us to use the windows version of the source sdk uh, base 2013 uh, game package uh, so in their tutorial they recommend specifically version 8.0.4 uh, this is probably the closest you can get to it, but I personally have had no issues using uh, a newer version. So it's really it's up to you. Uh, I've had a, a good experience using uh, Proton Experimental with it previously. I'm just going to leave the default choice of uh, the GE build of Proton 1.9. So once we make sure that's enabled, we'll go ahead and we'll do as the script asked and we will restart steam and i'll be back uh, once it's back all right so i am back steam is back uh and as you can see we're here in the steam library uh we have this uh, tf2 classic shortcut that the script so kindly created for us and uh, i don't think there's anything left to do but to uh launch it and uh, make sure it's working Well, there we have it. Uh, famous Valve intro. TF2 Classic. Good signs. And, uh... Here we are, made it to the menu. Looks like uh, everything's working as it should. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my tutorial. Uh, that'll be it. See ya.